Well, guys, it's time for the mother of all combats. It's karate Ooh. combat. I say that the way the Japanese do. They say karate. 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 Yeah. Well, karate. karate. Not karate. I just listened to it, yeah. All right, <laughs> fine. I'm going to say karate. I am Brian Kellen, and this is karate combat. And to my right, none other than the legendary Boss Ruten. And to his right, the future Hall of Famer and the man who almost took the Seahawks to a Super Bowl, practically single-handedly, Mr. Marshawn Lynch, beast mode in the house. Yeah. Well, we are about to watch some very exciting fights, uh, but we have to talk about where we're at. This is a very strange and different location. Where yes, we exactly are. are we? Well, my GPS on my phone says, we're in space. Out of space. Out of space. Okay. Out well, of space. whether that's true or not, it's true. Now, who's fighting? We got Debbie's Ferraris from the um, Dominican Republic. Yes. Nicknamed The Rage. And then we've got Jesus the Beast Lopez oh, 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 from oh, oh, Lima. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm just saying, just not the Beast Mode. Not Beast Mode. Uh, no, 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 I just no. said. I think we're just going to go with Jesus Lopez. That's it. We're not yeah. using Because you can't. We got to see what he got first. We got to see if he. Qualified, I like, you know I like I mean? it. He I like earn, has he earned? Nah, has he earned know, the word, I mean, the name know, we, beast? We waiting to get there. All right, we gotta like get there. I like yeah. it. Let's, let's see if he's got some Marshawn Lynch. In. Cuando era niño, mi hermano John regresaba de su trabajo y me enseñaba karate en el patio de la casa. Él usaba diferentes cosas para poder exigirme y practicar muy duro y así aprender a defenderme. John me enseñó más que karate. Él me enseñó cómo sobrevivir en un mundo brutal. En el barrio donde yo vivía, habían pandillas, drogas y él me enseñó a usar los principios del karate para siempre guiarme por el buen camino. A él le gustaba ayudar a las demás personas y eso era lo que me motivaba mucho a seguir sus pasos. Cuando yo tenía 12 años, a mi hermano lo asesinaron a balazos en la calle. Durante años pensaba en venganza. Regresé a practicar karate para vengar a mi hermano. Mi sensei me dijo que ese no era el camino. Ahora honro a mi hermano. Me exijo en cada entrenamiento y cada combate se lo dedico a él. Cuando no estoy entrenando, me gusta mezclar música como un DJ. La música me hace sentir vivo, me da mucha energía. Me gusta mezclar todo tipo de música. Pero ahora peleo. Cuando estoy en el pit, siento que mi hermano está conmigo dándome su energía. Honro a mi hermano en cada combate y nunca lo dejaré de hacer. Tough way to grow up for uh, Lopez, losing yeah. your brother at 12 years old. And I guess that's kind of what keeps him motivated. Yeah, well, that's a big motivator, I would say. You know, Big Brother's looking from the sky, and he, of right. course, he wants to perform at his best. Great teacher moment there as well, of course, when his coach said, no, this is not the way to go. You're going to have to pull well, back. Well, you would know this better. Anger and the feelings of revenge and, and that kind of, like, heavy emotion isn't necessarily your friend in a fight. It's yeah. the opposite of being your friend. You're right. If you don't control it right, man, they, they can put you in a vulnerable position. Right, because yeah. you're not thinking clearly. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Davis Ferreras, a young fighter from the Dominican Republic, Pan American world champion, won his first event in Budapest with some spectacular kicks. At his last event in Greece, he got knocked out by a controversial knockout. Some of his fans claim it was an early stoppage. Now, he also had very little rest before that fight because he was fighting an Olympic qualifying fight a week before that match. Now, he's one of the favorites from the Americas to go to the Olympics. Very excited. Oh, hey, guys, look at this. It looks like the portal is opening early. Let's go to that. There we go. There we have the fighters. Here we are. They both look very game. No, they look like they ready, huh? Mm -hmm. As my boy Knuckles say, they got them karate bodies. And they ready <laughs> for action, huh? Uh-huh. Here comes Ferreras. Both fighters are 148 pounds, which is the lightweight division. And both are 5'8", similar reach. Now, Davies is more of an offensive striker with a creative mind. He likes to figure out his opponent when they fight, and he likes to move a lot. 
Jesus is a counterpunch. He likes to wait for the right moment to attack, and if he sees an opening, trust me, he will blast for How What is the difference between what we're going to see here in MMA? Uh, well, there's no takedowns. Actually, there are takedowns. You are allowed to take somebody down, and once he's on the ground with his back, you can rain down punches on him for five seconds. Okay. And the referee's going to pull you off. Now, if the opponent pulls him on top of him, the referee's going to stop it right away. Now, oh, there's nice a roundhouse high kick right there. there. Step back. What you call that? That's a roundhouse kick, or in Japanese, that's a washigiri. A lot of side kicks there from Ferreira. She tries to keep him at bay, which is always a good thing, but you have to make sure that you always keep connecting. So is that like a jab with your foot? Pretty much, yes. Oh, Good. Okay. And especially the stance that he stands in, because then he can really develop a lot of power. He can push him away, but you know, like knockout power is very hard to. You can to see get Lopez trying to this. bait him. Yeah. Lopez looks like he's trying to, to bait him in. That's so it. You see, I told you he's a counterfighter. He's got to watch out, though, you know, because a big round punch is, takes longer than a straight punch. Yeah. Now they're in this karate stance, so it's hard to get power with your punches, isn't it, boss? Yes, it, it, it is. Well, it depends, you know. It, the, the right hand, of course, both fighters are orthodox fighters right now, so that means the right hand is the, the, the big punch, and that will have power. But if you're more bladed, then you take the power away. Mm -hmm. That was okay. a really nice connection. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Davies. Nice. The connection. Ferraris, the connection. I love that. Oh, look, look at this. He's using the ball. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at that. There's another creative solution for Davies. You see, in karate combat, you can use the walls to push off. I love that. Actually, the fighters are encouraged to use the entire pit. Right. These guys are swinging for the fence. Yeah, this he, the Rage dude you say is uh, the wild puncher, right? Yeah, the Rage is the, 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 the wild puncher. Perez. And the beast is Lopez. Okay. But he's got to earn his nickname. Okay. okay. That's not the way you earn There we go. Take down. Five second rule. In karate combat, when the fighter goes to the ground, his opponent has five seconds to rain down strikes upon him. After that, the fight and the action will be restarted on their feet. These guys are these guys are just the both thrown at the same time. A good head placement, they, their heads are off the line. But you touched it already. You can see that Jesus is the counterfighter. See, he tries to stay just outside the reach of his opponent. So as soon as he gets close the distance on that, you know what? He crowds, he'll crowd you until you until you move toward him. What is that? What are those facial expressions there? I don't there? know. He's been watching uh, uh, Show Enough. Uh, Show Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the <laughs> master? Oh. Leroy. That's what he looks like. He looks like Bruce Leroy right there. Yeah. He got the little shortcut just like him. Ooh, look at that. Beautifully timed. Is this Yoko Giri. That's is what they call a sidekick. That's a, what is it? Yoko Giri. I think I'm gonna yeah. come out of this by lane too, because you about to go <laughs> They're both pretty hesitant here. I think, They're just I think Ferreris for is on to uh, Jesus' oh. ability to counter punch. Oh, oh look at that, you see? Oh, oh, oh he's out of there. I it. said it, That's he got to connect with that kick. Oh, man. Wow. Anthony Johnson had that same thing. Uh, I think with Gustafsson. Huh? Gustafsson gave him a front kick. He missed, but then he gave a shooting range with the arms. And that's what happened here. He you missed the side kick. That with that? That? They, had, they butt heads, actually, when I saw that. That's what it looked like. But. It's a really nice straight punch. I had to go to slow this slow motion. Wow. Yeah, so he knocked out. He was setting that punch up the whole fight. That's what he's trying to do, the whole fight. You could see it. Watch. Sets him. Oh, this is a highlight. He from, oh, that was that crazy kick. Man, always connected with that. That would have been great. He, tried to get, Look, he did right, connect he with, it. with it. Nice. Caught him. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we'll see that again. Oh, my man. Do you see? He missed, and now he's shooting away for the arm. Because normally the leg is longer than the arm, but you know, he took that away because he missed. Well, he came in with his hands low, right? So he kicked and then came in and tried to throw from his waist and got caught. Good bad job, habit, right, boss? That's, that's always a bad habit, you know? Pull always back to your defense, you know? If you have to defend your head, make sure your hands are close. Very simple. Oh, 
know, he's still raging. He's still raging it. Right, well, do you know he, what? He's he, acting like he might win here. You get to keep his name. Did he keep his name Beast, though? Yeah. Lopez? I mean, no, I mean, you know. He knocked him out. He did knock him out. I like what I've seen from him, but I don't know. Wait, look, he, look at, look at Ferreras. He's acting like oh, he can like feel he didn't win. Can't oh, he believe. really knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> he's still out. He's still out. You won't see him until he won. No. Wow. That's why he was raging. Look, he's still tripping off the ring and hell and shit. Who's that guy? We have special guests at the fight, Santa Claus. Santa I was just gonna Santa say, <laughs> you know, on a different planet, we have a Santa Claus as well. If you look at what happened here, the referee stopped the fight right before the clock hit zero. Wow. Congratulations on a KO win. Tell me, how does it feel for you? Thank you so much. I am very happy because uh, I am training hard all the time, all the year. Uh, my family, God, uh, my friends, my team in Peru, uh, a lot of sensei help me every day, uh, every week, every month, all the time. I am very happy and thank you so much. Everybody. So this knockout came in the last seconds. Did you just throw a punch or did you plan that last punch would be a knockout? No, it's, it's, it's natural. I am training for that. I'm training uh, with my coach, my father, uh, Sensei Victor La Rosa, uh, my teacher uh, Miguel Sarria, uh, a lot of Sensei. The Guayo Salas in Peru. Oh, every day, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, this is the wrestling, right? I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Back to you guys. Well, there it is. Lives to fight another day. Mm. Should be excited. What, literally one second left in the in the first round, and he gets caught. And I think. I, correct me if I'm wrong, it looked like Lopez was setting that shot up the whole fight. Waiting to counter, waiting until he extended himself, and then bang, throwing that left. That's, uh, he missed that side kick. He was so effective with it before, you know, Ferreros was so effective with the side kick. But once he missed it, he came in arm reach. Right. And that's when he got knocked out. High on the temple also, big whiplash effect. And that's when he went down. Call slip. Yep. yep. Call slip. Well, there you go. Quick, anything can happen in a fight like this. These guys are throwing bombs, feet. All kinds of bones thrown at your face. So, um, all right, let's talk a little bit about the main event. The main card here features Abdullah, the Joker Ibrahim versus Jerome, the Brown Bear, yeah. Brown. Yeah. Both excellent fighters. Uh, they don't like each other, these guys. And we know that Abdullah Ibrahim came in 18 pounds. Count them, 18 pounds overweight. Mm. How does that happen? Huh? To be honest with you, that's just some. Uh, that's 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 really a big. I don't I don't give a. You know. What right. I mean? Right. You don't. Know, you know what I mean? Three, you have to work maybe, it down. Maybe three or four pounds you can say you got, but eighteen. That's just a. That's. That's basically just disrespectful. Let's talk about the next fight. We're about to go into uh, Maximilian Matez versus Stefano Rupakis. This is kind of an exciting fight because you've got. Uh, Rupakis, who was a soldier in Greece, and now you have Maximilian Matis, who is an actual practicing monk. Soldier versus monk. What do you think? Well, I think Maximilian is also a Kikushin fighter. So yeah. that's a full contact fighter. Not punches to the face, though, but they fight very close among each other, dashing out low kicks, knees, and then bare knuckle, of course, to the body. So I think this guy is going to push forward. He's going to come at his opponent. But then, of course, his opponent, if he's smart and being a an, 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 uh, an military guy, I would think he's smart, you, you know, so he's he going to... some type of train. Right? He's going to yeah, stay yeah. calm, he's going to stay on the outside, he's going to try to defuse everything that Maximilian is like going to Like a sniper. Like a sniper. Let's take a look at uh, Maximilian Matis. My training is taking me everywhere, from the dojo, to the military, to the temple. Most people dream of being able to work in their baggy clothes, but that's not why I do this. Every night, the setting sun is my yin, and every morning, I have to shave my yang. I like the spirit which made Germany strong, and this is our engineering. But I don't build cars, I build warriors. 
The warrior instinct engineers my body, my movement and my soul. Such devotion requires a nomadic life. But I'm a pilgrim who carves out his own path, even if that path is brutal. I trained under Bruce Lee's best friend, Kuro Dan Inosante. Today, I'm ready to fight full contact in the karate combat pit, brutally and without emotion. Like Bruce Lee, I use no way as way and low limitation as limitation. And if you don't understand what that means, well, you're not alone. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it takes a certain kind of martial strength just to be a monk. The guy's sleeping on the floor. He's walking barefoot everywhere. That's a tough life. He's got the boss root and hairstyle. So, you know. That's a boss. Yeah, you know what I mean? Rocking that thing, huh? Yeah, right? I was going to say, yeah, maybe you're right. his hero. He took a page off the old book. Huh? Yeah. Are you a monk? No, I know. I, I, I tried to study for one. I actually really, believe it or not, I, I thought about it when I was young. Is that right? Yeah, I thought about it when I was young. Wow. I thought it was really cool, but I know it was the Bruce Lee movies, and you see that, you go, oh, maybe I gotta be a monk. Right, but, right, uh, right. Thankfully, I stayed away from that. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully. Stephanos the Great is 23 years old, a typical karate background. He's a special forces guy, equivalent to the Navy SEALs in Greece. Now, needless to say that these guys are trained in combat different than this style, what we see tonight. Now, he watched karate combat in Athens, and ever since, he dreams about fighting in this pit. And what a fight this is going to be. It's a qualifier fight between him and Max. Both don't have a contract in the league yet, so if they win this fight or they perform spectacular, both will be on the roster permanently, and then they will get paid the big part. Let's take a look at the specially designed 21 by 21 foot karate combat pit. As you can see, the walls are shaped in a 45 degree angle, which karatekas can use to their advantage. They can run up, push off, flying kicks all over the place. Now, they're gonna compete for three rounds of three minutes, and if it goes to a tie, there will be a sudden death over time round. Now, let's take a look at these beautiful design karate combat gloves. Just enough padding on the knuckle to protect the hand and just enough to knock your opponent out. Let's go over some additional rules. Now, scoring is based on aggressiveness. That means the more aggressive you are, the more points you're going to get. Oh, counter striking isn't counted as much. Secondly, we took the knees and elbows out. Why would we do that? Because we want to separate the fighters so you people at home can see beautiful technique. Lastly, takedowns are legal in karate combat. That means, yes, you can sweep the leg, take him down, rain down strikes for five seconds until the referee comes in. Oh, let me demonstrate. All these rules are designed to showcase the beauty and power of karate. Us. Let's take a look at this fight. It's pretty exciting. Here we go. Our next fight, Max. What was, what was that kick that you taught me early? The Mawashigiri. It's a roundhouse kick. Okay, the Mawashi. Mawashigiri. Mawashi. Oh, look at that. Out of the portal. Mawashigiri. Yeah, wow, Stargate dope. stuff. That's cool. <laughs> True life. One's a monk. Yeah, this is so. You see, but now he's got hair. And see what's going on here? This is time and space, like an interstellar. Oh. Remember, they went to the planet. Yes. And there was three hours away. They came back, and the guy was waiting in the ship. Was like 27 years older. I remember well. That's exactly what's happening here. Is she? Because now suddenly he's got hair. Both fighters are 5'8", similar reach. Maximilian is 29 years old. Stefano's 23. Now, Maximilian has a black belt in Shotokan, a brown belt in Kyokushin. He trains in Muay Thai, and on top of that, he backpacks around the world training in different styles. This fight is going to be all about distance. Maximilian is all about pushing forward as Stefanos is looking to get in fast, execute his technique, and then be out fast again. 
And that means that Maximilian has to push the fight to the edge of the pit and cut off the angle so that Stefanos cannot escape. What I'm interested about is, is why they don't let him do, do them thigh kicks. Because I know that'll, that'll wear somebody down. Man. Yes, yeah. Quick. Now, the reason that you see so much action in these fights is because karate combat is the only combat sport where aggression is the top scoring criteria. Karate is now an Olympic sport? Some of the karate combat top fighters, such as Rafael Agaev, have already qualified for the Olympics. However, most of the spots in the Olympics are still open based on future qualifier tournaments. He just caught. He just caught. And I like Maximilian also because he's a Kyokushin guy. I did some Kyokushin myself as well. And that's a full contact karate style as well, but it's only no punches to the head. That's what we are so different with. We have strikes Ooh. to the face in karate. That's why we're the only one. Look at this. You know that both these guys do some Thai boxing too, right? Yeah, because yeah. you see the combination. Which is how they, how they hook you're, not allowed, you're not allowed to clinch here. Officially not. No. Yeah. Maximilian Shell is connecting. He's making contact here. He's kicking low. He's blocking shots. He's staying just out, out of reach. Staying super calm. You yep. know, even when he blocks, you don't see the facial muscles uh, move or do yep. anything. You know, most of the time, still relaxed. Like, oh, 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 that was good connect. Yeah. Good connection. That was really good. One, two. <laughs> He's constantly pushing. Yeah, that's complete keep Christian. Style. Constantly so do, they be on your points, do they get points by that too? Controlling the ring as well? Could, yeah, well, if the other guy doesn't do anything and you're the aggressor, yeah, then of course it's going to go to you. But if the other one is picking you apart while moving backwards, oh, that's good a skill. Movement. That was some nice little, yeah, you see oh. me? A little quick. That was little a good low, kick though. Huh? Got, caught him. Caught him in the, in the lower rib there. Oh, oh every time he catches him when he comes in, right? He got countered. That's very nice takedown. Like that that wobbled him a little, that's why. That's very yeah. smart. You get five seconds, right? Five seconds, that waiting down punch. Five yeah. seconds, though. He's, He's punching him in the back of the head. Right. <laughs> uh, the back of the head. Make sure watch out. Yeah, Maximilian is probably a little bit rocked here. Oh, it's oh, close, though. Oh, was, oh look at oh, this man. I have no idea. <laughs> what 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 move? What you what you call that move? That's something, a new Shiro Boishi gear. That's a back kick. Man, that in the I air. seen Toby. that move on Taken. <laughs> the dude on Taken do that. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that. If you throw the word Toby in, that means jumping. Okay. Oh, oh he's again. getting tagged. You see, he's moving backwards, but he's connecting with yeah. the strikes. Now he, I think he's, he's got his rhythm. See, he's got his distance. Bit. Look, he's got his distance here. Watch this. Okay, what's that spinning backhand? Well, Stefanos has got Uraken. good head movement. He's, Uraken Uraken. he's got good head movement. Yeah, Uraken. 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 Yeah, Uraken. 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 Just out of reach, moving well. You have to complete it with a complete turn in order to make it a point. I just think about all the training that they put into this. Yeah. The fights only last, what? Nine minutes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is also, you know, sometimes you think, why I, I, I stop people like within a minute? Why would I train? But then when you don't train, <laughs> you you it's going to go to the no, second no, no. line. I don't, I don't mean that. I'm saying, ooh. ooh. <laughs> look at his eyes. <laughs> Did you see his eyes? <laughs> oh. Then look at the high kick. He caught him right there. He, He's lucky he didn't get knocked out. He, yeah, he didn't pull it through. That's the thing. And that could still be something from fighting point karate because you're not allowed to kick a fool in the face, you oh, see? Okay. So but you I'm pull, saying, you pull. if, if yep. you land there, what kind of move is that? What you call it again? The Mawashi Giri. See how he's taking shots in the back of the head? That's going to concuss you right there. Yeah, that's, that, that's... officially that is not legal. You have to punch outside the Mohawk. Of course, you know, so it visualize a big mohawk on your head. Yep. Is that how they teach y'all? Yeah. So we got something called the strike zone where you can't hit somebody in the head. Where? Back in the neck. I mean, anywhere in the head. head. Oh, anywhere in yeah. the head. Yeah, and you can't lead with your head. And you just, you know what I mean, basically anywhere below the shoulders. But if you hit somebody in the shoulders, you pretty much gonna hit them in the head. Too. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it took a lot of the hard hitting away from them. From our game, but made it a little bit more healthy. When did that happen, Marshawn? <laughs> when did that come in uh, football? When was that rule made? Oh, beautiful! Now Maximilian's taking him. Oh, beautiful! Oh, he out of there. He out of there. He knocked out on his feet. Yeah, that, that was. He this. knocked out on his feet. That front kick did it. Look at this. 
He lost his mouthpiece on that yeah. exchange. Look at that. So wipe it off? No, no, wipe it off. Whatever, man. Five seconds. Stefanos <laughs> is breathing heavy. Watch Stefanos. He's fatigued here. Look at him. He's taking deep breaths right now. No, nah, he's excited. He's saying blood. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get some good food from the people, you know, being a Ooh, Buddhist. back kick. Nice back kick. <laughs> real kick. They're probably helping with his next fight. But he got to get through this one. Let's see, well, man. you know what? It looks like uh, he got to get grounded. Stefanos hasn't been touched. Yeah, he's playing the game, staying outside the re uh, the reach of your he's opponent, his and he's doing a really great job at it. And he only, and that's a good thing. If you only have to move uh, two inches backwards or an inch, then you only have to move one inch forward again in order to hit your opponent. And look at oh, that! Oh, he's he's made him pay. Beautiful. He's made him pay every time. Every time he exchanges, he's made him pay. Every and this time. is a qualifying fight as well, right? So that means that whoever wins is going to be taken up right. in karate combat. That's that's a lot of pressure for both these guys because they both both want in. Everybody wants in. I get emails all day long from people who want me in karate combat. And if you want to compete, you're going to have to write an email to fight at karate.com. Fight at karate.com. At karate.com. I'm going to check in there. We'll see you. Yeah, I got to get my karate body first, though. I mean, right now, I'm shaped like a running back. <laughs> Maximilian seems to keep closing distance, but he gets tagged every time he throws. Every That's time. He, gets, he pays for it. Connected out by the tight clinch. You see, get a referee from the warning, by the way. No tight clinch. Right. Stefanos is tired. He looks fatigued here and he's waiting. There it's both. But bow, still bow. connected. Oh, yeah, he Look at that. Those are beautiful straight punches, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, when you say straight oh, punches, oh, again, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, 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 beautiful. He's yeah. we'll just going to keep backing him yeah, up with the fangs, boy. He's got his distance. He's got his rhythm and distance, so he's able to connect. 19 <laughs> seconds left. Oh. Oh, big overhead. I'll tell you Landed what. Landed him. Mawashi Tsuki. That's the Mawashi punch. That's a roundhouse punch. We call it a hook. So if I want to put a jump on that, how do I call it? Boom. A Toby Mawashi Tsuki. Toby. Toby is jump. Gotcha. Toby is jump. Oh, look, he got all the, uh, the, the monks. monks over there in this corner. All his people. That's crazy because that's the opponent. That's the opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're supporting the other guy. Oh, beautiful front kick. The, the samurai came to the monk and said, are you not afraid of me? I'm the one who can cut you into 100 pieces without batting an eye. And the monk said, and I am the one who can be cut into a hundred pieces without batting an eye. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Maybe that's my Gary. <laughs> my Yodan Gary. Ooh. That's a Ooh. front kick in the face. <laughs> at, at, at this time, I just feel like uh, a Greek Navy SEAL dude just picking on him a little bit. Yeah, you know a little bit. I mean? little bit. It's more strategic. And you know, that comes from military background. It, it got to be. It has to be. That's got to be a long three minutes when you're getting tagged yeah, like I that. I trained those guys, man. Those seals are crazy. Try three minutes of just jumping jacks. See how that feels. Well, that'll sit you down quick. Mm -hmm. Round three. Fight. Oh. This is a long fight for, for Stephanus. I mean, for Maximilian. Look at this. It's a long fight for both of them. Yeah, but oh, they're okay. fucking again. Oh, oh, nice road ice kick. You see? Oh, look at that. I'll tell you okay. what, well, now they Now they're showing yeah. what they practice for. Maximilian's huh? got that Buddha power. He's got, he's not, he's not giving up here. Nah, he not. He's relaxed. He a warrior for that. Yes, I, like, so. I like that. He's angry because his hair is back. He now he's got a shake back. Because he, he got that slick home. back, huh? Yeah. He keeps moving Man, all this time I've been growing a hair, I should have kept my bald head. Oh. Space. You know what? Maximilian looks just as fresh as he did in the first round. In the first round, round yeah. He just comes forward light. the whole it's time, yeah. Yep. Oh. Very well conditioned, both these guys. Oh, Ooh. nice, he's Ooh. tagging okay. him left. Him. Look oh. at that, oh. 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 That Maximilian keeps walking. That was keeps with the heel forward. of the liver. Keeps moving forward, Maximilian keeps moving forward. <laughs> Dropping somebody with a body shot. Love it, look at this. Some guys oh, yeah, he turned. 
Well, I think I think what what Stephanos realizes is that whatever he gives this guy, he keeps coming forward. I know. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating. It's very frustrating. You have four guys like that, you know, that you give a lot, you hit them really hard, and they just keep walking forward. You go, uh, like, well, I'm in for a loan. <laughs> yeah. I'm in oh. for a loan. Oh. We trying to take down. Nice to see the leg. Lock yeah. him up. Like a little trip there. Let's go. I would say Stefanos is very is more fatigued. The Maximilian's uh, wind is outstanding, especially to take that kind of. Yeah, punch. you seen how he was training out there with no shoes? Yeah, this whole raw bunions all over the. <laughs> Pavement, doing yep. it, moving up and down them uh, yes. oof, Thailand streets. And he sleeps on the floor. Did you see him give, give him that kick? Yeah. I think he hit the shin bone. You saw how he, how he reacted? He goes, ah, yeah. oh, that hurts. I'm not going to do that anymore. He's limping now. See? That was the same leg. I'm telling you, I think he hit the shin bone. Oof. Yeah, that, that thing ain't nothing to play Stephanos with. Stephanos looks, looks, still looks rather fatigued. Oh! Damn, he's going to How I call that? Ushiro Moishi. Ushiro Mugari! That's a wheel kick. With that wheel kick. I'm t the wheel kick. <laughs> For real. Look at this. Look at Maximilian. Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh, oh, that one would have been nice. Oh, man. Come. Oh, but that kick to the head. Would have combed his back with his feet. Oh, yeah. Would have got slapped in the face with hella toes. <laughs> <laughs> Better cut your toenails. <laughs> Look at his great hat movement there from Maximilian. Yeah. Maximilian is Man, game. He is yeah. game. I, I, so I really, tough. Yeah, I really like this dude. He is game. Wow. That's the this fight. is it. I really like that dude. Great job, Maximilian. Great job. Like, wow, like this is very fight. close though. That's a very close fight. I, I, you got to give it to Stephanos though, because he made most of the contact, didn't he? I, mean, I, I think he did, but you know, if you look at that. this guy, the machine, <laughs> they this, liked oh. it. Oh. Toby jumping, right? He doesn't need it. He doesn't no, front kick. Mike get him. Yeah, he hurt him right there, though. Yeah, did most yeah. of the damage. Yeah, he was hurt. Oh, mm. yeah. And this is Silva, right? Remember what that? What movie Stop. was that? I seen. Wow. Ah, wow. oh, back kicks. The front kick in the face. It's Look at that. Hurt. Hurt. You, you gotta give kick. this. You gotta give this step. Zohan. Is that the, the Zohan? What's the dude? What's the dude? And he was, yeah. And yeah, he, yeah. And he had his foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That was the, that was the kick he, he just threw. This is coming. Look at this. Man, he's tagging him. But Maximilian, this is crazy. Very close. Very do, do close. Do you think the fight's close? Yeah, I, I truly believe because, you know, Maximilian was constantly coming forward. They got you know, another That has something to do with it. He, he, he didn't Why slow down. What are you going to do? Oh. He's going to have a winner. Okay, well, we'll see. Well, that's very close. That's, uh, then I would say Stefanos, uh, like, just got it. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got it. I mean, but, yeah. but at the end of the day, both fight, the both would even fight as well. He connected with more strikes. Yep, very close fight. But you know, sportsmanship, that's the greatest thing about karate too, right? Oh, let's do it. Backslap, look at this guy. All right, can't wait for the next one, brother. Solid, solid win by Stefanos Rupakas. I'll tell you this thing. That monk took a punch like a champ. <laughs> yeah, he did. He and was, a, he was and an angry monk. And a kick and also. A kick, huh? He just yeah. kept coming. He looked fresher in the third round. Than he did in the first. Right? Yeah. That's, I agree that's with where you. that's where I don't know. That that meditation and stuff's got some secret powers. Some too. people can levitate above the ground, they say. I don't believe it. I need um, to see that first. <laughs> well, I, I think see I had I had him winning the final round, but I, I had Stefanos winning the first two rounds. Yep. Now it's time for the main event. Ooh. It is Abdullah the Joker, Ibrahim versus Jerome. The brown bear, brown. One comes forward, the other's counter puncher. This is going to be very exciting. Abdallah is an interesting case. You know, he won the World Junior Championships on the Egyptian team, and then he migrated to the United States and disappeared from competing for a bit. Now, in his first fight against Joshua Quenhagen in Miami, he knocked him out in the first round with his famous left hook. Then he fought again in New York on the top floor of the World Trade Center and lost by a very narrow decision to Dionisio Gustavo, one of the top guys we have here in the division. 
Then in LA, he finished his opponent again with a roundhouse kick to the head. Man, this guy is fast, he's powerful, great accuracy, altogether a nightmare for any opponent. But you know what? Let's take a look at the package from both these guys. I'm from Egypt, Alexandria. So I was in the national team, and at the same time, I was studying engineering in Alexandria University, and I had a dojo as well. I felt like my whole life was like the karate career, so I decided to come to the United States to look for opportunity in karate. So I kind of left everything behind me and started looking for the American dream. And I used to work in a restaurant and, uh, and I got involved in the karate combat, so I find what, what I'm looking for too. So bang bang, do like the footwork and when you shoot the balls, you get the power and you get the fast reaction and this stuff, which is really good. That's why I love doing bang bang. I come here like two times a month, you know. It's kind of like fun and it's part from my workouts. You saw him playing ping pong in the highlight, and he actually told me that he dreams about being a professional ping pong player. Now, you can tell he's a cerebral guy from the way he talks, but at the same time, this guy is a vicious fighter. Now, additionally, karate is all about respect, and the Karate Combat League is very strict compared to what you would see in mixed martial arts, for instance. Now, Abdallah is one of the only fighters that bucks the trend and marches to his own beat. He keeps missing fighter meetings no matter how often he is warned. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen the guy at one meeting. Now, we spoke about the weight at this event earlier, and funny enough, he barely made weight at this last event, and he was arguing with the commission about their skills. But he is an undeniable talent, so that's why he's here. All right, now let's learn a little bit about Jerome Brown, who's going to be Abdullah's opponent tonight. All I need to know is their height their reach, their weight, and I'm good to go. I don't even need to know their name. I wake up early. Well, when I do wake up early, I usually head down to the, to the family business and I'll help out my mum with the Caribbean Catering Company. Later on, after that, I usually head down to the gym. I'll go down to Hampstead Heath to do a calisthenic session with the lads, do a thousand pull-ups where we put in that work. I grew up in a poor part of Islington, North London. Some estates in London can be just as bad as the worst projects in America. It's eat or be eaten, and around here we don't eat tea and crumpets, that's for sure. I even know some hungry guys that will take your trainers. Self-defense is a vital necessity if you're from where I'm from. My nan and dad enrolled us into a local karate school. He escalated and quickly with us performing on the main stage. And in a matter of years, it, it just kept on winning. I hated the taste of the defeat, and the titles just kept on coming. It didn't really keep us off the streets completely, but it definitely helped. Me and my brother have been in many knife encounters, and without karate, I don't think I'll be alive to tell the tale. And I wouldn't care much about protecting my face, except for my other passion, modeling. That's right, fighter by day, Zoolander by night. But fighting has always been in my core passion. I'm undefeated and I've been through some battles. I've always been that young bloater, but karate is about speed, timing, technique, and being smart. I hit and I don't get hit. This is where I dominate. When I enter the pit, he won't be ready for the barrage of techniques I throw at him. Before he knows it, he'll be sleeping and I'll have my hand raised. So bring your A game, you won't be ready. Good luck, brother. Wow. Now I'm really looking forward to this fight, right? That was great. I mean, what do you think is gonna happen? I don't know, they both seem like they came up pretty hard and uh, I'm, I'm excited, but they definitely, I, I'm excited because I like watching two guys who are that skilled who also just don't like each other. So emotion, <laughs> emotion plays, you know, a factor. I'm curious though, Ibrahim's 18 pounds heavier than he should be, is that gonna play a factor in his, in his, in his win, in his uh, stamina? Well, let's find out if Chief is Ping pong is going to help him in this fight. <laughs> All right, here we are. The main event Abdullah Ibrahim and Jerome Brown. Oh, wow, that 
portal sounds like a toilet that's getting flushed. Okay, this match between Jerome and Abdallah is a contender match, and that means that the winner will fight next for the championship. Abdallah Ibrahim the Joker. All right, Abdallah Ibrahim is 5'10". From England. Jerome Brown, 6'2". Uh, these guys are both middleweights, but they're actually fighting a bit heavier as a catch weight, and we're given an extra day to make weight due to Abdullah's weight in issues, which ended up in having him pay 20% of his purse to Jerome Brown. Now, we all know about Abdullah's big left hook, and Jerome is a very technical guy. Let's find out if he knows how to deal with that left hook. He's definitely not in a boxing stance. These guys are no, always he very, like he's about to very do some top of weather or something. This is a traditional karate thing where you, so, you stay low, you stay sideways so you can use your sidekick and your roundhouse. Ibrahim in the white pants. I mean, that guy is a left hook. Oof. If you connect, that's it, man. So watch out for the eye. He's got a really great left hook. Standing too close, I wouldn't do that. I would use the reach, you know, sticking it. Oh, look at that. You're talking, about, uh, you're talking yeah, about the brown bear? But brown, yeah, yeah six, because they're longer legs. Keep him away. He better throw Side that kick. leg jab and quit playing. Oh, now he's running. Well, I know he can run track. <laughs> he got out there. Yeah. 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 He just ran a full flat getting up out of there. Well, right now they're just feeling each other out and seeing what their tendencies are, right? Thus. Yeah, what would you, you throw punches, throw kicks, you see how your opponent reacts, does he move away, does he block, does he stay in one place, does he counter? Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to figure all these things out. I and like then, the way he's yeah. working his lower leg there. And then you have to do that actually one more time, you know, because sometimes it's just a fluke. Yeah. But if he has a pattern, yeah. Ooh, that, ooh. Ooh, that was great head movement in and out. Yes, it was. Okay. Oh, he. Oh, that oh, was a left hook. You see, counter. Just got You're talking about come here. He went. Yeah. And they did to do some to this thing, boy. Just ate that left. What's the spin again? Ushiro. Ushiro. He out there, Ushiro. He, that was like sort of an attacking back kick hard to get. It's usually used as a defensive measure. You use back kick as somebody's coming into you. But I like both these fighters throwing a lot of feints. You don't yeah. see that a lot, and it's so effective to do that. You know, you can read your opponent. You throw something and see how he reacts. Great way to figure out what your opponent's going but to see, do. They also leave you vulnerable, too, though. What they call an open stance. That's when somebody's a southpaw, J uh, Jerome. He's a southpaw in the black pants, and his opponent is orthodox. <clears throat> so normally you would expect a lot of inside low kicks, mm -hmm. but since they're not legal, you can um, kick him to the shin bone. I remember the last fight with David Dona. He didn't start limping after he hit him in that shin. He kicks him to the inside leg, and I go, as a commentator, I say he shouldn't do this because he might break his shin bone. As soon as I just finish my words, he kicks the same way again, snap the shin bone out. Now, when you're fighting a southpaw and you're and it's karate, usually with boxing, you're fighting a southpaw, you circle, you kind of win that corner and you circle away. You circle power. away from his from his left. Yeah. In this case, though, if you do that, you're opening yourself up to the back kick, right? So how yeah. do you fight a southpaw? I guess you're just kind of fighting a different, it's a different distance. It's a different distance, you know, and, and, and on, on a back kick, as soon as you see him turn, it's either you move in or you move out. Okay. So, so uh, karate, you want to be moving more laterally. Boxing, obviously, you're moving left to right. Yes. More. And same exactly. with that Look at that. Oh, that's a throat kick. Yeah, but you know what? Ooh, he missed nice. It. That was that left hook I was talking about. But he's missing That's the same one that old boy got dropped. Just blocked. Look at that. His head was in between. That's gonna. But what was you saying about? I know you were saying about the muscles in your face was telling a lot. Even when blood just got kicked in the face, his face still remained calm and That's relaxed. it. That's a good. What that let you know about the fighter though? It, it makes it. It shows you that he's in control. It sounds hard to be a fighter. 
Well, it's not. I think it's hard to be a freaking athlete like you. No, because I smile after I smash somebody in the face. <laughs> I'm smiling on the way. Once I know I got an opportunity to hit somebody, I'm smiling. Round two, fight. See, both, there's a lot of respect here because they don't really want to pull the trigger. Don't neither one of them want to be on that KO status. Yeah, it looks quickly. like Abdullah's yeah. waiting for that count. He's waiting, he's waiting for Jordan oh, to look extend that. the kick. <clears throat> oh! Spinning, uh, the spinning back wheel. Yeah. What you yes, call sir. Spinning back fist. Yes, spinning back fist. Una naguchi. Una naguchi. Una naguchi. Hit him with the ooski dooskis. And then make it with Shiro, that means turning. That's Oakland for... You know, wow, you that was nice. For. Both these guys were connecting back and forth, right? That was awesome. Is that a cut under his eye? Yeah, or? that's the back fist. Oh, okay. He caught it. That's got to count for something right now. I got, I'll tell you right now, I've got Jerome Brown winning this fight. You see, I like the constant fainting from Brown. Very smart. Never standing still, constant. Look at him. Beautiful kick yeah, there to the cabinet. His eyes kicks. high. He's looking at his face, but kicking him low like that. That's a trick, man. Mm. Oh, oh, that's a powerful oh, I kick. Think, <laughs> I think some of that boy would have touched that wall. So you can't throw elbows in this? Uh, no. No. Okay. no elbows, no, no uppercuts, no kicks in the thigh. And no, no knees. No, no knees. That's a big No, they, they, they oh. oh, look at that right high kick. That was very close again. We saw a few clinches. Okay, no, and I think we automatically it. assume that they're going to go to some knees is yeah. going up in there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm expecting something big out of one of these dudes. I mean, I didn't wait it this long. They better show me something. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's so close every time. The high kick, I mean, it's an inch off. And the punches, the strikes, some connect, actually. But both oh, okay. these guys that, are tough. I mean, that's a, oh, Look yeah, at that. Yeah, he oh, getting, how he moved to the he, side. He, he, he looked like he getting a little upset. He going to start risking it all. Nice movement by Jerome Brown. Yeah, man, I, I really graphic. enjoy it, man. This, these kicks, you know, believe it or not, because you get the... The tibula, which is the big, right, the big shin bone, and right. you got the fibula, the little tiny one behind it, and if you kick that on the calf, and the muscle is relaxed, well, you snap that bone in half, because it's a little tiny bone. Ooh. And that's the end of the fight if that happens, so you have to watch out. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like uh, Jerome Brown is on his toes more, and Dull is plodding forward more. It's yep. just a different kind of technique, right? One is just kind of either trying to counter or whatever, but it's just two different styles. Two Wait, different they, they, uh, they... <laughs> They they ring uh, the they they corner this dude just like he looked like he was ready to go camping or something. And then the other dude had a oh boy looking like you know what I mean. Oh, oh see, I told you that's the, I think that was the one you missed. Oh man, he got mad. Yeah. Wow. I told you to stop hitting me! <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> uh, he's doing most of the damage, man. I got Jerome Brown winning back this fight. That, You know what? I know this girl named Keisha that used to always keep Vassal. Keisha, no, no, her name wasn't Keisha. Her name was Felicia. Felicia. And from elementary school all the way to, she always kept Vaseline with her. Now, you know what I mean? Jerome Brown is rough. You ready to go, though? I've still got him winning this fight. This is the third and final round here. Here we oh, go. No, I think. Uh, Abraham putting that pressure on. Get him in the corner. Yeah, I think. He, I think he's gonna connect with something. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! 
wrestling. Went for a wrestling move. Yeah, yeah, so that's, see, that's, 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 that's when I would have did it. When I asked you if you could choke, I think I just, once you fell, I would have stretched it. You, you do, but you, you have to just jump guard, that's what they call it, because if I get moved to the side, that choke is gone. Oh, okay. And I'll teach you that once you come for the karate classes. Ibrahim's got that got great you, counter movement. He's looking at the clock right now. And I like it the Two way he's left. moving away the whole time. Mm -hmm. Offline. That's what you call it? Yeah, Jerome Brown constantly so moves to the side. Up. Yep. Is that kicking here to the kick. calf? Look but you know, because both yeah. you know, the oh. open stance can't really generate any force now, you see, because <laughs> there, there's no space for him to land that kick. Every that time somebody does, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's that a count? takedown. Now, does that count? A takedown count? No, I don't think by itself. So uh, was he only he, when you strike he was trying to arm down, though, right? No, it was looking, oh, also, it looked go. like he was going for something. Ooh, oh, oh, look at that left hook again. If he connects with one of those shots, it's going to be rough. Left kick to the body connected there. Jerome Brown's got good awareness, though. He can, he can see Yeah, he's moving those out shots. the way. Yep. He's moving for Duck sure. Ducking, and he's taller. It's hard, but he's... To do all that ducking, yeah. huh? Here comes, he here might, comes like, the fatigue, though. He might be a little bit tired. He's leaning on him now. Nice job. Good wrestling. I feel like there's going to be a dinosaur or pterodactyl that's coming out of the this. background, huh? Right, exactly. It's like a little Jurassic Parky. A lot of women dressed like Laura Croft. A lot of monks. And out of Whoa. space at that, too. Yeah, See, this, Both of this is time, the, yeah. the thing is, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, boss. It's slowing down. Abdullah keeps moving forward. Ibrahim keeps moving oh, forward. Oh, yeah, he got it. It doesn't oh, feel like there's got, that much of a You got five seconds to do your thing. I would have DDT'd him. It's for the hood. Ah, boom. Wow. I won that last round. He won that last you round. You know, but the thing is, sir, you, you, there's something wrong with Brown. Because his mouth is not open when he's fighting, but he looks super fatigued. Right. Right? It's a weird combination, because normally when you're fatigued, you're Gasping for breath, right? Right. But his no his mouth is closed. Hmm. Look at him. That's Damn. that back fist. That was early yeah. in the fight. Boom, there we go. Bunga. He seemed to slow <laughs> down. Bunga. Yeah, right in the face. Look at this kick. That's Throat a touch, kick. Though. You can't nah, connect. I don't that think you really connected with that. He didn't connect. He no, 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 but I mean he went to the throat. Mm -hmm. Nice like a, take like down a female. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it, I, I mean, I don't know, man. Who do you think, who do you have winning this fight? Something, uh, something Abdullah was the aggressor him. for sure, but. Oh, he hurt. Yeah, no, he's, something is wrong with him. Because he's not tired, look at him. What? Oh, he about to drop. He finna cry. He gonna cry. Look at him, look at him. Oh, oh. Something is up. Somebody grab me. Man, where the monks at? Don't they know some super healing powers or something? Yeah, that, we know. Lay hands on this man. Yeah. Now that's Holy Ghost power. Now hold on. This is uh this is not good. Something's wrong with him. Yeah. He's he's, he's in serious trouble. What's today? He's not diet. Yeah, what's today? How many fingers do I have? This is different. Oh. He's not doing well. That's, he's got to go And I'm telling you, it's not his stamina. It's something else. Yeah. No, nah, they really need because to check on that. Look at him. He, he was, uh, he looked um, disoriented. He looked at woozy. Yeah. Wow, Jerome was really down. I hope it's okay down there. Man, you really have to be concerned when you see a fighter go down after the action, right? And don't know what it is. That's scary. Yeah, this doesn't look good. They're pulling the doctor in now. 
That's his father and coach. Next to it. There's the back fist. Mm, man. Wow. Bone I'm trying job. to see where he got sick at. On the chest. Yeah, suddenly he started to slow down. There was something going on, but it's like it's about the surface oh, the whole time. Look. You look seen it. it right there? Oof. That's got to be tough. Yeah. He was kind of, that's when it started for him. Maybe there was a death touch in Denmark somewhere. Might Did you see the that? Touch. There might, might have been, been the right? death touch. Uh, no, nah, he ain't the he ain't the monk though. He can't even stand right now. Look at this. He's still. The way he's looking, they about to give him the fight, bro. Wow. Oh hell no. Nah. They about to give bro the fight. You wouldn't give who do you give the fight to right now? Uh, a, oh well, I give it to Brown. <laughs> Look at that. Nah, I ain't giving it to That's Brown. a tough one. Wow, that was a tough one, yeah. It was a close fight, though. Very, very close. I mean, shit kick in the face. Look, confused. Back to his back. Some kick strikes. But you know what? If he collapses after the fight, that's fine. But during the fight, he was there, so. That's the truth. You know, that's the truth. That's like you're running a marathon, finishing, yeah. and then falling down. You still win. I, I think the third round went to uh, Abdullah, but I think the second and first, first round went to Jerome. I think he connected more. Congrats to Jerome Brown. He will be fighting next for the championship. Great fight. And uh, maybe, you know, it was very close. We're going to see a rematch in the future. That would be mm. great. Yeah, I would like to see a rematch from now, too. Did you have uh, fun on the show? I did, What do man. you think of karate now? I mean, you know, it, it, from from what I've seen in the, in the movies, I think this was a little bit more entertaining for me, especially, you know, for my first time to be calling it. But, but I would like to see a a, a, a rematch between them two because I'm, I mean, I don't think the, the 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 end of the fight did justice because it was, you know, a little. It was very close, yeah. Let's see some of these highlights. We had three great fights today. We had Davies the Rage, who was spectacular, but ended up getting finished in the last second of the very first round. We had Stefanos, who won the contract against Maximilian. And Jerome Brown eked a decision before his legs gave out right after the match. We just got word Jerome collapsed again and the doctor is sending him to the hospital. It seems to have gotten more serious, so uh, let's come back to the booth. Something was wrong there. Well, I, it's something more than fatigue was going on with yeah, him. Yeah, 100%. And we know now that he's been rushed to the hospital. Wow. Which made sense, because the guy couldn't even stand up. He looked like he was drunk or something. Yeah. So. Well, we hope to see you guys next time as well on our next event of Karate Combat. It's going to be the same planet, same three moons, everything that we have. It's going to be all the same. Hope to see you there. Karate Combat. Our website is karate.com. And of course, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all as Karate Combat.